that's on. I wanted to ask you first about the role of data in your work. Um, there's been so much attention paid in recent years to the scarier aspects of data collection from government surveillance to privacy concerns raised by new forms of big data. Um, and so much of the conversation, it seems to me, is about, on the one hand, trying to avoid being ensnared in data collection altogether, which becomes harder and harder each year. Um, and on the other hand, there's this impulse to just give up and embrace data collection as a new normal. Um, or to just assume little can be done about it. Mm -hmm. But what I think is really interesting about your work is you seem to imply a third option. And there's this idea of working with data. So I was wondering what, um, what draws you to working with data rather than fighting against data collection or just accepting current norms of data collection um, that, are, that are kind of emerging. Right. Um, yeah, you know, so I mean with data, you know, we use data as this shorthand, in a way, uh, like that word, you know, that buzzword, you know, for a whole set of practices, you know, that, that have all kinds of different built-in contingencies, you know, that, that, that have technologies, that have material realities that they're based on, you know, programming uh, uh, conventions that have entire, you know, histories and like kind of social, you know, norms you know as, as, as part of them uh, you know this whole this whole ecosystem of, of, of practices and techniques you know that, that come together you know in something that, that we call data um, and I'm, so I'm really interested in kind of the the excess you know the things that surround the idea uh, of data that we don't always acknowledge, you know, with that term. So, uh, you know, for instance, okay, so you have, you have a, a, a number or something that's in a database, you know, and that's supposed to, you know, have an indexical relationship with some aspect of reality. But it's, it's really, it's haunted by who collected it, you know, what tools they used to collect it, uh, what the database, you know, the schema was that they put together, you know, the terms they... Uh, chose the categories that they slotted that into, you know, all this other stuff kind of haunts that number. Um, and at the same time, that number leaves out a lot of things, you know, it leaves out the more kind of, uh, you know, emergent, durational, experiential qualities of whatever, you know, phenomenon is. It's a reduction. It's some kind of representation uh, of, a, of a, you know, real world phenomenon that's larger. Um, so that's what I'm interested in, in with data, like the, the, the thing that's added and the thing that's removed. Uh, you know, what gets across and what doesn't. And, you know, so I think a lot of my pieces have a little bit of the structure where it's, it's starting with the performance, you know, whether, uh, I guess maybe uh, 48 to 16 is a good example of that. So the performance is me biking from my home in Brooklyn uh, at the time to Times Square, you know, and I'm, I'm on my bike and I'm experiencing the, uh, the city in a particular way and it's, you know, a very kind of visceral, physical relationship to the patterns in the city. Um, and I'm recording my heart rate and my breathing and my pedaling. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, as data streams, as I'm doing that. So it starts with the performance, that's translated into data, and then the data is then re-performed, um, initially by Dopo Leo, who's a, a great cellist, so he plays the heart rate, you know, pizzicato on the cello, like ba boom ba boom ba boom He plays the pedaling, you know, bowing, and he plays my breathing by kind of scraping the strings. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's performance, you know, of the body, like body data, and then body again, 
you know, it's re-performed. Um, and, you know, something makes it through that. There's some kind of visceral relationship between the performance that results on the cello and the performance that I had in the city. And then there's a lot, of course, that doesn't make it through that transition, you yeah. know, that is left out. And being a piece of music, you know, it's interpretive. Like, you know, Dopu is bringing his uh, artistic license, like as an instrumentalist, to that piece. And me as a composer in choosing, like, how those translations happening, you know, I, I am a composer in that. Like, I have a, you know, a, a subjective interpretation that I'm imposing there. So, you know, that piece and a lot of my other ones, I think, are attempting to highlight like interpretation and contingency and subjectivity in that translation from body to data to body that we don't normally think about. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. it's not an objective practice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, the emphasis, you know, in those pieces is put on those kind of, you know, softer, weirder elements that could have been something else. Mm-hmm. 